Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In the previous video, we have discussed regarding dividends. In this video, I want to talk about the forms of dividends. If you want to pay dividend, how can you pay dividend? What are different forms of dividend that you can pay, right? So as you can see, basically following five types of dividends are there. Dividend can be paid in the form of cash. Dividend can be paid in the form of a stock, in the form of bond, property, and a script, and so on, right? So now let us discuss each one, each one by one, right? Let us first start with the cash dividend. What is cash dividend? Simply, what is cash dividend? If dividend is paid in the form of cash, that is called cash dividend. And the question is there, when the company can pay cash dividend? When there is, we can say, sufficient cash available in the business. When there is a surplus cash available in the business and there is no investment opportunity, in this case, the board of directors may distribute cash among the shareholders in the form of dividend, right? So what is cash dividend? Dividend. When dividend is distributed in the form of cash, that is called cash dividend. Cash dividend can be regular or final dividend and also can be interim dividend. What is regular or final dividend? If dividend is declared at the end of the year, this is called regular dividend. If dividend is declared during the accounting period, this is called interim dividend. No more explanation, this, it is the matter of time. If it is at the end, final or regular, if it is between two annual general meeting, this is called interim dividend. Second type of dividend is a stock dividend. What is a stock dividend? When the company distribute a stock as a dividend among the shareholders, this can be called a stock dividend. It means there is no sufficient cash available in the business, so instead of distributing cash, the company may distribute extra share to the existing shareholders. So that can be called a stock dividend. So those shares which are received by the shareholder in the form of dividend, and of course they are free of cost, those shares simply can be called as which stocks, or which shares can be called as bonus share. A stock and share is the same, right? Some people call it a stock, some people call it what share. Americans usually call it stock. And of course, sometimes we can say British, they call it what share. So not a big issue. Although there are some more difference, but so we are going to, we can say, yeah, this much about the stock and, the, and, and share itself. So once again, what is a stock dividend? A stock dividend means when there is no sufficient cash available in the business, so the board of directors may decide to distribute a stock or we can say distribute, bon distribute shares of free of cost to the existing shareholder. That can be called as well a stock dividend. Next one is bond dividend. But is bond dividend? If the company distribute bond, if the company distribute bond as a dividend among the shareholder, so this can be called as what well bond dividend. But this one, of course, rarely can happen in the business. Sometime it may happen in the business. If this happens in the business, it means if there is no, again, enough cash, but the company do not decide to distribute shares, and instead of shares, they may decide to distribute bonds. And of course, might be for a short period of time, might be for long, but of course, usually bonds is for at least for more than one year, right? So definitely in this case, if the company issue bonds for the shareholders, so shareholder become bondholder as well as they become shareholders. And definitely for the bonds which they receive, they will receive fixed rate of interest as well from the company. And these bonds increase the risk of the company as well. The next part is basically property dividend. What is property dividend? If the company distributes properties as a dividend among the shareholders, this can be called property dividend. For example, let us say there is, for example, two or three buildings extra. And instead of selling in the market, so the company may decide to distribute it among shareholders. Or there is, for example, extra, we can say lands, there's extra machines, computers, and so on. So the company may decide to distribute that one among the shareholders. That is called a property dividend. And finally, a scrap dividend. In the form of, okay, a scrap dividend in the form of transferable promissory note for a shorter maturity period to postpone the immediate payment of cash. Basically, a scrap is it's a promissory note which is issued by the company, or we can say by the board of directors, to the shareholders to postpone their payments for a shorter period of time. For example, to postpone their payments maybe for three months, for four months, or five months, and so on. The company is not willing to issue a share. The company is also not willing to issue bonds. Why? Because so the company will have cash, but right now there is not enough cash. Company may have or may receive cash after two months or three months, right? 
So till that time, the company can postpone the dividend. And for that purpose, the company issue a promissory note, right? And of course, it is transferable. What is transferable? It means the shareholder, if they receive a promissory note, they can sell it in the money market, or we can say they can sell it in capital market. Especially, of course, they can sell it in money market. They can sell it to the third party and they can receive cash immediately. And the third party can submit it to the company after one month or two months, they can receive the, uh, we can say, the, the face value of the script from the company itself. So a script dividend is nothing special. It is just a note which is issued to the shareholder to just postpone their payments. So these are different forms of dividend. Cash dividend is stock, bonds, property, and a script dividend.